guys. In case you don't already know me, I'm Natalie Palomino. I am owner of North Salon and a sustainable boutique called North Authentic here in Corona Del Mar. Um, so if you saw my earlier video, you learned that um, being eco-friendly and being sustainable is something that I hold very close to my heart. So um, we are constantly making strides to be more sustainable in everything we do here at North Salon. So um, I just wanted to share with you some of the ways we've made changes um, and things that are, you know, something that you might be interested in incorporating into your salon. Of course, we are constantly always trying new things. We always want to learn more. So please share in the comments. Give us some ways that you've incorporated more sustainable, eco-friendly practices at your salon or with your guests so that we can learn from you because really we're all just trying to band together and make the world a better place right we obviously did have color bowls before we decided to go completely green so um, I think it's more wasteful to just say I'm gonna completely throw away every color bowl I used before that wasn't eco-friendly I'd rather use it till it's dead because honestly that's the point of sustainability it's not producing waste if we don't need to so deciding I'm gonna be zero waste and throwing away everything that isn't eco-friendly is not being sustainable so until those are completely dead as I replace those I replace them with glass bowls so I've just been buying glass bowls and using this. You always wanna use glass or plastic, um, never metal. Metal can react with developers, so it can actually oxidize your color so that your color doesn't actually work. So oh, never use metal, just always try to stick for glass or maybe like a BPA eco-friendly plastic. I've seen out there that there's some eco-friendly bowls made of wood. Um, like bamboo. So I'm trying to do my research on that because I just want to make sure they're not porous because if they are, I just don't want color getting in there. And then I, I don't know. I just so want to make sure what ends up in landfills every day from salons. Um, I believe it's about 800,000 pounds a day is wasted color. So um, color, bleach, anything that you're using, not only is it bad for the environment and ending up in landfill somewhere, but it's also bad for your pocketbook. You are literally eliminating um, part of your profit margin whenever you're over mixing color and wasting color so it's really important that you start with maybe a lower amount I always say if it's a first-time client um, let's start with 30 grams of color and 30 grams of developer for a basic color retouch and if we need to mix more we mix more but in addition to that we've incorporated a new program into our salon it's called Vish so Vish is amazing i'm completely floored by the technical skills of this company but what they do is you can measure all of your quantities of color in this system and after you apply the color retouch onto your client you come back in and re-weigh the bowl and if there's any color left in that bowl your formula will adjust itself to now be the amount you actually needed. And so in future appointments, when that guest comes in, you can always go back to that formula and know that maybe I didn't need 30 grams of color, I only needed 26 grams of color. And so it's literally eliminating any color wastage at all, which is amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys how that works right works. now. So it's just a quick, I'm just gonna do a quick guy. So I'm using myself. So I've put in my clients that's scheduled for the day and I am scheduled for the day. So what you're gonna do now is pick your service and they're gonna help you set up everything. So let's say I'm going to do a color retouch for my new growth. Here is all of my past appointments that I've put in here. So here is my previous color formula. If I want to use it again, all I do is simply click on it and then it's going to ask me for a bowl on my little scale that came with Vish here. So I'm going to go ahead and add my bowl. And once it detects it, it's going to show me the formula and then I'm just going to click on each and add my color, my developer, anything I need. When I'm done, I'm simply going to, going to click done mixing and take my bowl away. And when I'm done, I'm simply just going to come back and reweigh this bowl and it's gonna adjust my formula. If that's not amazing, I don't know what is. We have a recycle bin where we separate all of our color tubes, color boxes, color cans, um, so we can separately recycle those. But Another thing I've done is I've started using these eco wraps um, instead of foil. The other thing I realized this year, I learned this year when I went to a doctor's appointment is I had a ton of aluminum in my blood. So I did change over to an all natural deodorant, which we do sell here. That's called Routine Ink, made out of Canada. And it's amazing. I love it. It's like the best natural deodorant I've ever used. But other than that, it's also like, duh, we're hairstylists. We're touching foil like a thousand times a day when we are grabbing foils. So one thing I did start doing in order to protect my health and allow me to do this longer is wear gloves while I'm foiling. 
And I know some of you probably look at me like I'm crazy because it's, you you know, at first for me too, it was really hard to learn how to maneuver when I was foiling with gloves on, but honestly, you get used to it. And then it's like, it's like, I, I don't even remember what it's like to not wear gloves. It's totally fine. The other thing, pe people, please, 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 I see on Instagram people wiping off color and bleach with their hands. You guys, we love our business and but colors are chemicals. Do not use your, your bare hands to wipe off that color. It's just really bad for your health. But again, it's everybody's personal decision, but I just, it hurts my heart when I see bare hands grabbing bleach and color. And I used to do this myself. I'm totally a thousand percent guilty, but it did possibly um, add to the autoimmune disease, which I was diagnosed with last year and it's constantly a daily fight you know daily struggle really with it and um i know that the chemicals that i was touching daily might have contributed to it so guys just take a warning from an old gal <laughs> for a while and i had some repercussions is try not to do it if you can um okay so the um eco wrap papers i've been using from product club i've been really liking i was nervous at first that it wasn't going to have the same amount of heat distribution as a foil so that it wouldn't be able to lift people's color especially for someone like me who's like hispanic and dark and wants some lighter highlights but honestly i was kind of just shocked by how great it lifted evenly and what was great is i could actually see through the paper to see that it was lifting blonde i didn't even have to open it so that was pretty cool and um, I will do a video when I get to start doing clients again showing you guys really um, how I've been using those paper wraps and um, really what it looks like like throughout the processing time so you guys can see that it, they really do work um, anything that you're gonna be incorporating that is more eco-friendly you guys I, I'm not gonna lie it is more expensive it does cost us more money um, just because you know when somebody's paid fairly when something is biodegradable um, it costs more money than using the stuff with cheap ingredients that hurt the environment. So, um, but you can incorporate this into your pricing. And honestly, I still want to make sure that there's an earth and uh, a human race that is sustained past the time I'm here. I mean, I mean, I think all of our goal hopefully is to leave the earth a little bit better than the way we found it, if it's possible. So um, that's really what I try to live by every day. So yeah it cost me a little bit more money to use eco wrap papers or to use ppd and ammonia free color um but you know my clients they honestly love it and it means a lot to them and they know that i'm doing this because i care and so when you care and you're coming from a place of support and love then you know you're always gonna win so um that's my advice on that so a little bit about my color line. I, I use Aliga Pro Calora as my permanent. Um, what's amazing about it is you actually can also use it as a demi. It's one box of color, but you have different developers, including a demi developer. So that's pretty sick. So less storage and yeah, you're only buying one box of color if you use it for everything. So if that's not sustainable, I don't know what is. Um, the other thing I use um, for my demis, because I've been using it since forever and I just absolutely love it is um colorants by Goldwell um these are recyclable containers um and it is also PPG PPD excuse me and ammonia free which means that it doesn't have some of those chemicals in there that most people react to um so it is much better um for our health in the long run to be using products that are free of both of those so one of the things we've incorporated is we try to be plastic free so pretty much I bring in dishes cutlery um, cutting knives, everything we need so that during our lunch breaks, um, we can eat without using any paper, any plastic in the salon. The same with our guests, which I will take you over to the beverage station in a while, but we have these cute little mugs that we give to everybody. And we also have BPA free acrylic cups in order to serve water in. We do not serve water in any water bottles here and we do not use disposable cups because again, those are landing in landfills daily from just use throughout the world. And we do not wanna to contribute to that. So one thing we've always known about is the radiation that's emitted from microwaves. But I, as a hairstylist, reheat my coffee like eight times a day. I take six hours to eat my lunch. So um, I was using a microwave like six or seven times a day. So until I went to a doctor's appointment this year and found out that I had very high levels of radiation in my blood, um, they said it number one reason was probably just because of how much I was using the microwave. So. I eliminated microwave use um, at my home and of course I didn't want to completely eliminate it here because you know other people that work here might want to use a microwave they don't all have to be crazy like me but 
I brought in a toaster oven. So what's so awesome is if you want to heat up pizzas, pastas, every, literally I heat up everything in this toaster oven. I stopped using a microwave uh, just because I also learned that it just, it doesn't really heat your food or cook it. It molecularly changes it. So it's pretty much as good as eating like a plastic glove. Like you're not getting any nutrients from your food. So that's a little side note I learned from my doctor this year. But that is something I've done in order to make the salon more eco-friendly and be a little bit more health conscious for me and my team. Another way I have made the salon eco-friendly and more sustainable sustainable is I have included all LED lighting. Of course, this does cost a little bit more money in the beginning, but guys, these light bulbs last anywhere from 20 to 30 years. Um, lighting is so important in our salon, so obviously we want to make sure we're looking at the color and seeing exactly what it is. So this is something I did choose to invest in for our clients and for our own eyes as we're doing this daily. But the LED was a great way to make the salon more eco-friendly, sustainable, as well as saving your pocketbook. We get a ton of natural light, so we are really blessed. So unless it's really starting to get close to dusk or is it in the evening, do we really need to make sure all the lights in the salon are on? Otherwise, we really keep the lights off in rooms that we're not directly inside of at that time. Also have included movement sensor lighting in my back room as well as outside of the salon. That way, we really don't have the lights on in the back room unless someone goes back in there to mix and that really helps with wasted energy as well. Another way we try to limit the amount of energy usage we have is by turning off all iPads, all computers at night, as well as our little keyboard and mouses. We use Macs here, so um, we do try to limit how much we're gonna have to recharge everything. So we do turn things off at night in order to like, limit the amount of energy that we're wasting. Of course, we also always wanna limit our water usage. So we're very careful when we're washing dishes and make sure we are only using water when it's being used and we never leave water running. We also are going to be investing this year in those eco-friendly water spouts that really limit the amount of water that's coming out of your shampoo bowls. So hopefully when we have that as well, we're gonna be saving even more water in the long term. Also try to limit water in our use of towels. So we actually do have a washer dryer here in the salon, but we try to keep it to one towel per client. Sometimes if it is a multi-service client, obviously that is kind of impossible to do, but we really do try to limit the amount of towels that we're using per client. That way we are not doing tons of laundry and wasting water throughout the day. That's something you could always talk to your team about as well as the size of the laundry um, that you're doing. So really waiting until you have a full load before you run that washer is so important to make sure you're saving on water. Before I turned the boutique into a full sustainable eco-friendly boutique, I already was carrying lines that were important to me that were all natural or organic, like Davines from Italy, like Zen again for our hair loss system. Um, so that always was something that was very close to my heart, but we have really advanced that now in the boutique. The reason why we've branched out into more sustainable, fair trade, eco-friendly, everything across the board, is because it, it just means so much to me as an owner but also I know how hard it is in life for us to try to do good while we're just living our lives and a lot of the things we purchase you know we don't know how it's made and we really don't have the time to go and dig and find out you know where it's made who made it, how much were they paid, all that kind of good stuff. It's not something you can easily pick up a product and read the label like you can at the grocery store to look at your ingredients. Um, these things are not really as transparent as we would love for them to be. So in the interim, until that actually does happen, I completely 100% vet every single product that I have in North um, as well as every brand. So you know that you could walk in here and really pick up anything and know that it meets those sustainable guidelines that we've put in place. So those are some of the things we've done um, at North in order to really try to make an impact um, on the world and really help it just thrive and move forward. So please share with us some ways that you've been able to make advances in your salon um, and at, or as a stylist to be more eco-friendly and to be more sustainable and to really uh, contribute towards the overall health and future of our planet and of the people. Okay, thanks so much you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the other side, bye.